welcome again. We have something happen today, every day in history, and during this period on the breakfast, we just take a look at it, uh, just to remind us of what happened and maybe a lesson or two. We hope that is the case today. In 1942, on this day, the United Nations was established. Um, the name United Nations came up after 26 countries came together and signed a declaration that established its existence. Uh, they pledged that their government would continue fighting together against the Axis powers. Uh, this has to do with the... During, in the course of the Second World War, uh, the first person to president to, to sign was um, uh, the U.S. president at the time, Roosevelt, Prime Minister Churchill, Maxim Litvinov of the USSR, and uh, TV Song of China. They signed the short document, which was later um, to be known as the United Nations Declaration. The very next day, uh, representatives of 22 other nations added their signatures. Now, its history as an international organization, like I said, has its origins in World War II. Uh, international leaders proposed creating a new global organization to maintain peace and avoid the abuses of war. Um, it initially had about 51 member states. Uh, today, the organization um, has 193 members. Major initiatives from the UN include preventing conflict by exploring options to ensure peace, uh, providing food and medical assistance in emergencies, and offering humanitarian support to millions of people around the world. Um, uh, th th there are goals. It's in line with their goals. The goals of the uh, the goal rather of the UN is basically for maintain international peace and security, develop friendly relations among nations, achieve international cooperation in solving international problems, and be a center for harmonizing the actions of nations in the attainment of these common ends. That's um, um, the basic goal of uh, the UN. However, there has been criticism. Uh, it has been able to do a lot, as we all know. It's been uh, provide food for millions across, uh, um, some say over 100 countries, some say 70 countries, some say 75 countries. But they, we know that they have been part of international peacekeeping missions. Uh, they've worked uh, with climate change. They diversified some of their core mandate to include vaccination when it comes to health, human rights issues as well. But like I said, there have been criticisms of their role uh, because initially it was um, established to focus on peace and security, but now it's onto um, healthcare, environment, justice. Of course, uh, let me not forget to mention the role that they play with um, migrants, uh, refugees, people seeking asylum and uh, all of that. There are, there are those who say they are promoting a globalization, um, a backing provocative, um, provocative uh, policies. Uh, they are also providing controversial health options. Uh, they are saying they're giving um, setting countries more power than others and spending too much money. But however you look at it, they've done a lot more assisting countries, many countries per year, uh, being there when, there when there's crisis to help save civilian, protecting human rights. So as um, an organization that championed peace, uh, a lot of persons would say, would much rather have the United Nations with all uh, its flaws and its uh, various arms helping to promote peace across the world. That's what happened today. This great organization was established in 1942. Um, that's one of the things that happened today uh, in history. Uh, but there is more, like I said, we're going to uh, shift it a, a bit and come here to Nigeria. Uh, on this day in 1973, um, we had the Naira replace the pound. Yes, at some point we were a colonized nation. The UK was the bus and uh, we were uh, under them. On this day, it was introduced, uh, two Naira 
um, for one pound. A hundred Kobo makes one Naira. That's the explanation that was given. Um, Nigeria was the last country actually to abandon the pounds, uh, the shillings, and the pence. Uh, they used to call it LSD at the, that time. Uh, the name Naira, like I mentioned, I, I, I alluded, I'm going to explain a bit, is simply a contraction of Nigeria. Um, while the subdivision Kobo is named by a derivation of the English copper. Um, on January 1, in 1973, we adopted the Naira, basically. That's um, what uh, we know it has gone through evolution uh, from having the highest denomination at 100, or now we have 500, we have 1,000 Naira denominations and others. Uh, but one thing that bothers me about the uh, Naira is the fact that we no longer have covers. You don't see them. Is it cover now? We, we no longer see covers anywhere. We only see them when we're doing calculation, but in actual fact, it's no longer there. Even you don't see one Naira anymore. You don't see two Naira anymore. It, the list you see is five Naira. And I kind of miss the days where you can go to a school and you take one cover to buy sweets in primary school. <laughs> I used to steal my mom's mom money, but don't tell her to go to school. And don't steal if you're a child listening to me is wrong. I know that now, I didn't know that then, but you know it now. I used to go buy sweets for one cover or even less. So um, it would be nice for young people to, maybe if you have some of these old Naira notes, share. Today's uh, holiday is part of, let it be part of the fun uh, you will have at home. Give them a little uh, background. Show them the old just not so long ago. We had some other um, Naira notes. The f five Naira we have and the 10 Naira and the 15 Naira we have now is different from what we had in the 1990s. I'm not going too far back. Even in the 2000s, uh, the, the shape was different. So if you have some of these old notes, you can use it as part of a um, fun learning kind of thing today. Share with your family. Let them see how we have progressed when it comes to our currency. We're still in a recession, by the way. But we'll be fine at the end of the day. That's what happened on t uh, today in history. Uh, the United Nations was established and the Naira formally uh, took its form in an independent Nigeria on um, this day in 1973. We'll go on a break now. And when we come back, we'll be looking at crossover. How did we fare in spite of the restrictions? Did we comply or not? Stay with us. <laughs> 